That reminds me of the celebrated poem of long ago. Renowned Nadi Hida composed it at this very crossing. If you're worthy of your name, then I must cast this of you. The distant one that I love dear, does she live or does she die? Now tell me, boatman, what do you wish to know? Those white birds yonder along the shore are ones not found in Miyako. Tell me then, what are those birds called? Those are the birds from the bay that we call seagulls. Well, by the sea they may be called gulls, or perhaps even plovers. But here, by the sweeter river, such white birds as those, should they not be called Miyako birds? Truly I must confess that I have spoken wrong. Though I live in this famed place, honestly I spoke. The awful birds indeed should have been my reply. Seagulls like the evening breeze that wash upon the shore. Turn to times distant past when Nadi hid our road. Asking, does she live or does she die? Recalling his love in distant Miyako. I, in my turn, also seek a child in the east, filling my heart with the Savior. For one's love, for yearning for one's shore, yearning is the same. Hope springing from deepest love. I do in my turn must put to you the question, O me. Oh, oh.
Tom O'Connor, and I'm the managing director of the theatre company called Theatre Nogaku. Uh, theatre Nogaku is attempting to do something that I didn't know existed when I was a college student, and I feel very, very fortunate uh, to be here with the company. I think I can speak on behalf of all the company in expressing our deepest gratitude to Suin and to Bing Chu and Amethy and all the people who have made this possible, to our distinguished guests here tonight and everyone who has made this journey uh, to come see this unusual event and occurrence. We're very, very grateful to all of you. Um, what you just saw is a, a short excerpt from a play called Sumida River, which is an English adaptation by Richard Emmert of the traditional Japanese no Sumida Gawa. Uh, the play is um, in our repertory. It's one of the few in our repertory that is based on a Japanese original. Most of the plays that we do, most of the no plays we do are in English. They're original no plays written about Western or American subjects. Most of our members are from the United States. Um, however, what you just saw was an attempt to render a traditional Japanese you know, into English. A very, very short section of it. It is a full length no, of course. Um, so this evening, we've been asked to come and perform some excerpts from a play that we've uh, it's our newest, the newest uh, installment in our repertory, which is called Blue Moon Over Memphis, which is uh, based on a play written by Deborah Brevoort, a very well-known American playwright. And the play has been adapted extensively um, in, with uh, our artistic director, Richard Emmert, uh, doing music. And um, that has been a very, very um, fruitful process for everyone involved. So we're going to show a couple of excerpts from that. But before we do, to give you a little bit of background, for those of you who might not have seen No, uh, we're going to have a couple of small demonstrations. Um, uh, company members, including Elizabeth, uh, who is going to give a demonstration in movement and different singing styles. And then following Elizabeth, who's in the wings there, chomping at the bit, following Elizabeth, John, uh, John Ogilvy will give a short explanation and demonstration of a couple of different types of no masks. And finally, we'll have an instru instrument by instrument demonstration of the type of sounds that come out of the instruments that you just heard, the Hayashi Ensemble. So uh, without further ado, I'll give you Elizabeth. 